An important video announcement from Connor Sullivan. What's up, everybody? This is Connor Sullivan, Connor Sullivan TV. This is Midweek Motivation. But I'm releasing it on Friday, so you can call it end of the week motivation. This is the part of the show where I look over the internet, I look over movies, I look over TV shows, I find things that are motivational or inspiring to myself, and I share them with you in the form of video and analysis. I want to be able to talk real with you because I believe that YouTube should be a place for entertainment, right? But also a place to learn and grow as a person, just like you read books that will help you do that, just like you meet people that will help you do that. And if I can be somebody that you meet that can help you do that, then YouTube is doing a good service. This is end of the week motivation. The part of the show where I can be real with you guys, look directly in the camera and say, look, you have a dream, go for your dream. Do not let anybody deter you from that. Always believe in yourself. And if you can get inspired by this little clip, please continue to watch. Leave me comments below. If you wanna hit me up on social media, do that. I'll try to answer all your questions. I do not claim to be an expert, my friends. But I do claim to be someone who loves life and I love seeing people succeed. And I want to be a man that lives a life of significance far beyond when I die. With that being said, thank you for watching the videos. Leave me a like if you like these types of videos. Always comment below. I love to hear your guys' feedback. And as always, thanks for watching. For midweek motivation, I'm showing you my favorite clip of Gladiator. It's when Russell Crowe is with his homie. He's gonna go out there and fight all the other whatever swordsmen that are trying to kill him in this movie. You'll get the idea when you see the clip. But basically, what I want you guys to get out of it, or what I learned from it, you can take your own learning from this, however you'd like, is in life, there's two lessons that I learned. You gotta find somebody that's willing to fight with you in everything. In what you guys like to do on your free time, in what you believe in, stand up to people who don't believe in you, and just you have to have that ride or die person. Like I know it's a used cliche in Instagram, my day ones, you legit have to have that ride or die person in your life, whether that's your sister or your brother, whether that's somebody you meet at school, someone on your sports team, you gotta have that person that whether or not everybody else is doing something wrong, you have him with you. And you're like, no, this is what we're standing for, this is what we're doing. We see this clip and I'm like, dude, that's my bro. Like those people that will stick with me over anything, man. If I'm in trouble, if I need to ride in the middle of the night, if I'm like, look, man, I'm struggling with this. I need you to stick up and stand up against all these people who don't agree. The other thing too is I consider this scene to be exactly like life, right? I believe that there's good and there's evil in this world. I believe that I am living for good and that you should be too. In this clip you'll see, all those people that are trying to take out the gladiator are the people that are saying, you can't do it. They're like those thoughts in your head of fear saying, you cannot reach your goal. You're worthless, you, you're not gonna make it. And, and you need those things to happen. Like, like rejoice in having the battle because that means that you're going and pursuing something worthwhile. If you didn't have all the battle to get to the finish line, then it wouldn't be sick to hold up the trophy, you know? Who would go watch a race where somebody literally just had to like walk around, didn't matter like when they finished? Nobody wants to watch that. They want to watch the grueling Olympics, dude, all those obstacles. This is a representation of life and all the obstacles that you have to get through. It's not gonna be literal, so chill out, but realize this is like mental, mental battle, fear, anxiety, doubt, people telling you no, all that jazz. You gotta be like, thank you that you're in my way, but I know my path, I know where I'm going, and I know what I'm gonna get. Enjoy this clip. It's a great movie to watch if you haven't seen it. It's a little bloody and gory, but you know what? Sometimes that's life. Enjoy the clip. the arena they're right there in front of you. the life you are living right now is a battle of mental warfare love joy peace and happiness those are the good things keep those friends around fear doubt and the people that say you can't do it get them out right away that's important that's the only way you're gonna live the life that you want to live I've gone through it you've gone through it everybody you talk to has gone through it and that gives you hope because we're all the same we're all people we have the same struggles so do not lose hope get the bad people out get the good people in and continue to live your life and fight the good fight. Fight the good fight of faith no matter what happens, no matter what people say, no matter what your doubts say, because eventually, if you continue to feed the good thoughts, they will grow bigger and bigger and bigger, and the small thoughts 
or the bad thoughts will get smaller and smaller and smaller. And then you'll be living a life of significance, confidently looking in the direction of your dreams, not worrying about if a camera's recording in your face, and just keep going. For real, I'm talking from the heart, and I get hyped when I do. So, thank you for watching these videos. That's all I got for today. Have a good weekend, y'all. As always, please like, please share, please subscribe. I love you guys. If you're new, check back on the old videos. And if you like this channel, click the subscribe button, like I just said. See you next video. Alright, the video's over, obviously. The main part of the video is over. And I want to ask you guys, should I do a daily vlog? I've got a lot of you guys saying, do a daily vlog. And, you know, I'm always trying to do something more intense than that, like, make some cool edits. But I guess I can just walk around and talk to the camera while doing my daily life. Like, if I go to the beach or I jump off the pier, I can vlog it like, yo, I'm at the beach, you know? The sky is blue. The waves are blue. Abba dee, abba die. I got something in my eye. Beautiful sunset, by the way. Look at that. Look at those pink clouds. That's no color correction. That's just right there. That's California winter for you. Comment below what kind of videos you want to see. Daily vlogs, more football videos. Obviously, I'm going to do those every week. I got a lot of stuff from Asia. You want me to do pranks? I'm not really a prankster. Do you want me to do... I don't know. Just leave suggestions. I may or may not listen to you. But I love hearing from you. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. See ya.